Hello, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining us today or tonight, no matter where you might be in the world. My name is Sarah O. Oh. I am the digital content producer here at University of the People, and I am so happy to have Guac Chang here with us for our April Student Spotlight. I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce himself to you all. Thank you so much, Sarah, for the opportunity. It's accorded to be here with you. Yeah. Uh, my name is Guac Chang Gambo. Um, from uh, Langtang, Plateau State uh, in Nigeria. I'm currently residing in Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria. So That's I awesome. am, um, yeah, thank you. No problem. Um, you are people student, happily here. Yes, thank you so much for being here with us today. I know we have a lot of Nigerian students um, who attend your people, so I'm happy you get to represent. I'm also Nigerian, so shout out to anyone who might be watching. Um, okay. What your people program are you a part of? Um, I'm one of the your people ambassador, and I enjoy this program a lot because I want to contribute my own effort in spreading the vision and mission of University of the People's uh, tuition-free education globally. I also enroll in the computer science course at your people. That's awesome. And, you know, we truly do appreciate all of our student ambassadors. For those of you who are not aware, as I'm sure most of you are, we are a nonprofit university. So our student ambassadors um, help us greatly with spreading the mission of your people to other people who are looking for tuition free American accredited online university and degrees. Um, and what made you choose your people? Well, I choose your people for some main reasons because it's been affordable and it will give me the potential to lead a successful and fulfilling life as an individual in the society. So I saw these things in your people, the mission that it's a whole, have vision, and then I enrolled to grab my potentials as well because of the flexibility that your people provided and putting up a shoulder where I could lean on and also a wing where I could fly to. That's awesome. I'm glad that you were able to find those things. Um, and I hope you were able to find those things since being enrolled at your people. Um, since you've been a student here, what do you enjoy most about being a student at University of the People? At University of the People, I rediscovered a sense of being scholarly balanced and enriched with academic knowledge, you know, in such a versatile, diversified manner, learning so many things in different ways from students and from instructors. You know, when, when you learn those vast areas of knowledge, it gives you the sense of knowledge and it gives you the sense of belonging that you're really learning something. And really, I benefited a lot of things from your people's program. That's awesome. I know a lot of our students, um, learning online is new, it's different um, from what a lot of people are used to, but it is a lot of fun to interact with students from all different parts of the world and kind of, you know, exactly. flex those scholastic muscles and test out um, what things that you can learn while, you know, balancing life and work on top of your studies. And um, well, you have, mm -hmm. yeah. Interacting academically in the discussion forum uh, it gives me the advantage of absorbing the insights and knowledge of the peers, as well as the knowledge of the instructors. The course forum also does the same thing for me. So yeah. except that, you know, some students are not utilizing these uh, features very well. Yeah. I agree. Um, we do have our students do online forums. So there are peer evaluations. Some people love it, some people hate it, but it does give you a chance to see into the mind of the classmates, your classmates, and actually get to converse with them and see their perspective on a similar prompt that you and them might have had for an assignment. And, you know, speaking of online forums, we do have a lot of free resources that students have access to at University of the People. Uh, what resource would you say you use the most or um, is your favorite resource to use at your people? Well, the first thing, or I would say the basic thing at your people is the model. That's yeah. the online campus. I utilize these resources a lot. That's where I find resources to learn, the books to go through, the LRC, that is the Learning Resource Center. 
we have free online textbooks where we can make research and uh, present our assignment through those research academically. Yeah. Uh, the career service too is another resource that I, I make use of. These career services uh, gives me the potential and the knowledge to learn so many things in the field of uh, the career where I'm pursuing. And then the program advising, um, each student is given a single program advisor to know, to tailor the interest of guiding such a student to progress. And so I'm also benefiting from this resource as well. Although from time to time, the program advisors are rotated, they are changed. Yeah. And then um, I also learned from the instructors, you know, the Alma resource. Yama right. too is there to connect with other students as well. That's awesome. I'm happy that you're able to utilize so many of the different resources that your people has. We we do have a lot, um, but those are really some of the major ones that um, our students tend to use. So I'm happy that you're um, utilizing all of those on a consistent basis. And you know, you are a student ambassador at your people. If any of you who are watching are interested in becoming a student ambassador at Yale People, make sure to send an email to ambassadors at yalepeople.edu um, and they can give you information on how to start. You can also check out a video on our YouTube channel that shows you exactly how to sign up. But since you're already a student ambassador and you're already you know, living your best life as a student ambassador at Yale People, um, what's your favorite part about being a student ambassador here? Well, being our student, here and also as a student ambassador, it gives me an advantage to be a part of your people. You know, a sense of belonging in spreading the mission and vision of your people. You know, th there's that feeling of um, when you're being recognized in something and when you know how important it is, and then you will do the needful to let other people to have access to it as well. Because if those other persons are not there to, to enjoy the beautiful thing about your people, uh, it, it will just be like a waste. It's yeah. just like a woman eat food and uh, no one is available to eat, you know, that food is wasted. <laughs> right. So that's why I, I love about the program. Yeah, I love that. And I'm happy that, you know, you have a chance to feel like a part of the university. That's something that a lot of our students, especially with it being online, if you feel like you're la lacking a sense of community and you're not finding it on Yammer or the Facebook groups, definitely, definitely try and sign up to be a student ambassador because there are a lot of, um, you know, additional perks and just um, a deeper sense of community that you get by being involved with the day-to-day -day things or the monthly things that are going on on um, at UO People. And what do you wanna do after graduating? I know currently you are in the computer science program and you also mentioned that you like to utilize the Career Services Center. Um, do you have any thoughts on what you're planning to do career-wise after graduation or are you still looking? Basically, I have a unique uh, plan after graduating. You know, the career service is not only uh, a tool to teach me how to get a job, but it also is a place where I can learn how to make a job for myself as well. Yeah. So after graduating, I would like to build a startup uh, company. Oh, yeah. I'm going to build a startup company for myself because I know it is very competitive to get a job out there in the job market, even yeah. though the job are so much, there's so much. But I want to tap into um, the technological aspect of the computer science career area where I could render the services and knowledge I've learned at your people. And that's, that's awesome. what I want to do is to, to build a startup. That's awesome. Um, you know, being an entrepreneur is never easy, but it is very fulfilling when you get to, you know, start your own company, start it from the ground up and, you know, um, get to that level where you're using your knowledge to help yourself. So I think that's an awesome plan. And I know that the resources at the Career Services Center will definitely help you reach that goal. And um, thank you again so much for, you know, being here with us today and explaining all of that. I have one last question for you. Um, since you've been a student at Real People, I'm sure you have some great advice that you can give. Um, so what is one piece of advice you would give to new and current students at University of the People? Oh, uh, there are so many advice I, I would like to offer. You can give offer. more than one. Yes, give more okay. than one. <laughs> okay. You know, um, it, it's very challenging to see that 
almost 70% of students, based on my research, 70% of students do not accept the mission of your people. The fact that the vision is clear, the mission is clear, but right. they are finding it very rigid to accept it. It's not as if they don't know. That's why you see most of them are complaining. They complain about uh, um, written assignment, being assessed by their fellow peers, uh, discussion yeah. forums, who are giving them lower rating and so <laughs> on. Well, the thing is this, I, I would like every student, whether new or old, to go through the catalog, know the mission and the vision of your people. These things are very important. So yeah. when a student know these things, you accept them. And when you accept them, it gives you the sense of understanding that you need to learn from other peers whether they give, they, they give negative feedback or positive feedback, open their heart to absorb it. Yeah. it. It is part of learning. It shapes your emotion and it helps you to know how to accommodate um, some critical moments in life, both in the society and around you. So yeah. um, when yeah. students support the vision of your people, they can use the course forum to ask for questions because most students shy away from asking questions. The thing that when they ask questions, their peers will look at them as ones who don't know anything. No, yeah. we, we, we're all here to learn. So when you ask those questions, it gives you the room to be strong. And it gives you the sense of fulfillment that, yes, this thing I asked about, I actually know it. And here right. another person is explaining it in this way. So you know it. So when students open their heart to receive negative feedback, both from the programming assignment or written assignment, uh, the only thing to do is if you don't feel okay by it, you talk to the instructor. I don't feel right. okay. I think I do this well. The instructor will see to it, you know. Exactly. So it, it's a nice thing. Being uh, grading assignments by your peers is one of the training. It, it's a beautiful training. It's a different from the mainstream universities, the revolution, a new system. So if you don't accept that system, you can't enjoy being a student here when you don't accept it, those systems that yeah. the school have put in place. So I love those yeah. things a lot. So I would like to encourage every other student to, to embrace this uh, change of uh, academic learning and um, succeed. Yes, and I think that's a great piece of advice. You know, change is hard. Um, it can sometimes be difficult to accept, but um, at UO People, there's a lot of research and you know, we are American accredited. There's a lot of things that we do behind the scenes to make sure that you're learning in the most efficient way, you're learning in the best way. And um, I know a lot of students, like they may love the forums, they might have a hard time adjusting to them, but it does give you insight as to how your other peers learn and how you can learn with them as well. So make sure that you're trying your best, even if you're a new student, and this might be a, a bit, bit of a difficult time for you and you're adjusting to learning at UO People, or if you're an old student and you're still taking the time to adjust to the learning system at UO People, it is created to benefit students. And like Wak Chang said, if you run into any issues and you're feeling like, hey, my student, my peers keep grading me really low, um, you're a peer reviewed and peer evaluated, but your course facilitator will also look over your assignments and say, hey, I'm going to give you the, the final points based on my own observations. So always feel free to reach out to them and let them know that um, if you're running into any issues with being graded low on any of your um, peer forums. And those are all the questions that I have. Um, and thank you so much for that great piece of advice that you gave to all the students. Um, Guac Chang, is there anything else you wanna say today before we wrap up this wonderful Student Spotlight interview? From, from previous advice I gave about reading the information in the catalog about the mission and vision of your people, even on the website is available. You know, it can yeah. shape the morale yeah thinking of such ones to, to know yeah. what they can do in the best of how they can support your people. Yeah, I agree. And I think that, you know, learning about our mission, learning about our vision will help students understand, you know, why they're here earning their degree, whether it's to, you know, improve themselves, help their family lives, get another job, get a better um, career path. Um, there, are, there are a lot of information, a lot of student stories on our website to help encourage you on your journey at University of the People. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for today. Um, I want to say thank you again, Guac Chang, for taking the time with me um, to have this conversation. Yeah, so. um, yes, no problem. 
Yes, no problem at all. Um, I hope those of you who are watching this got um, some, you know, encouragement to, you know, stay consistent in your studies this term. Do not give up. Things will get easier um, as you get more comfortable in the learning system at EO People. And yeah, I hope that everyone who's watching has a great day or night, no matter where you might be in the world. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on all our social channels, um, and share this video to anyone who you think would need some of the advice that Guac Chang has shared today. Um, thank you again so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.